what happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. A rub a dub dub, eat some food from a tub, a yum yum. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> a yum yum. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Welcome into the Spitballers, episode 211. Would you rather is this real life and we are drafting, well, it's another food draft. Delicious. And I'm looking forward to it. The best buffet foods on today's show. My yum yum. I like that that made you think of eating food out of a tub. Yeah, I feel like a, buf- a buffet is a, it's an indulgence. Yeah. it's, it's Nothing a- is so indulgent as eating food out of a tub. Well, no, it- it's quantity. A tub signifies uh, I'm eating... As much as I possibly want. I could fill a tub if I wanted to. That's my right at a buffet. That's true. No, I could bring they, a they, tub. They cannot stop you. You can't, you can't stop me. They are, they're a little bit, they're a lot of bit gross, really. <laughs> Buffets? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, the, the idea of a buffet is a lot of bit gross. No, where everyone's just <laughs> walking a line and grabbing Food that hands are just going into the stuff that quickly three fellas later will eat. Yeah, that's quickly uh, made and served as fast as possible to keep filling these troughs of food. Yeah, not a tub, a trough. Yeah. What's like, amazing is that if you if you are making food for people at your house, you're checking like expiration dates, right? And 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 you're, mm-hmm. there's just this oversight that takes place when you're doing food yourself, and we just trust this to. People that aren't us when you go to a buffet, right? You just yeah. trust that they're serving you stuff that is not going to make you sick, but there's no guarantees. Like, what's more, we if we know anything about America, it's like making a profit seems to be really important. So, oh, yeah. So serving like two-day-old potato salad. I mean, if they can warm it up and it's still edible, they're going to go with it. In the, I can like, tell you right now, I worked at a movie theater in my teenage years. And the amount of times, yeah, I got some secrets (laughs) and it comes down to the hot dogs. All right. Oh Oh, no. Movie theater. I love a movie theater hot dog. Because they're so good. They sit in these little steamer trays Uh and they just sit there all day long. And guess what? You don't eat them that day. No. They had them the next day. No. Right back into the steamer. How long do they go? I think you just leave them in there. No. Yeah. Like there was no. Look, no I know that QA on this. There was no, they, they, some of these were in there for a long time. Some of them were turning green. That's and just a, wrap them up in tin foil and send. Because you don't even open it till you're in the theater. There's no accountability. Green does not mean go when it comes you to hot dogs. You can't tell when it's dark in a movie theater. You're just chomping on down and vomit it up later. That seems that bad. that seems bad. And that <laughs> like it's, when you guys go to a I'll go back to the buffet. Do you really feel like you get your money's worth because I, f- I feel like nowadays I can go to the you know, you're at a maybe you're at a hotel somewhere they have breakfast or they have the breakfast buffet right but the breakfast buffet is definitely 2x what mm-hmm. it would cost for a regular breakfast and when I go to the buffet I sure your eyes get humongous you're like wait can't wait to buffet there's, there's no rules about how much food I can eat you fill up one plate and you go okay well I'm done <laughs> There's I'm still, done. There's still rules about how much you are able to eat. Yes, the rules of physics. Right. I, I think that the difference here is that some buffets and are- it's worse ex- food. It's old. It's cold. Some buffets are very, very expensive. Very expensive. You know, there, there's a fancy buffet. It's $50. You know, it, goodness See, gracious. That's go outrageous. To, go to a Disneyland resort. And don't, don't do the breakfast buffet because- They got buffets? Oh, my gosh. If you go to like- Oh, my word. I've spent- that's got to be like $85. It's outrageous. But you can find restaurants, and I'm not sure which is worse, $10 buffet, all you can eat. What's worse, the oh, the $30 buffet or the $10 buffet? No, ah. I'd rather know, In despite the pain, I'd rather know that this restaurant is making money hand over fist, and I might be getting actual high-quality produce. Because yeah, the problem is- But it's a might. Both, I'll take the might versus the certainty that I'm not. Both restaurants are making a profit here. So 
<laughs> if there's if they're all you can eat for ten bucks, it is. Uh, we went on vacation recently, and the only restaurants on the hotel, like on the grounds, the breakfast option was only breakfast buffet. And every day you went and you got what was a normal breakfast that would be like eleven dollars, mm-hmm. and you had to pay thirty bucks some a eggs, head. Some bacon, a sausage, yes, some no toast. The, the, Maybe I got one extra small mini muffin. That's my buffet indulgence. Where it gets criminal is kids buffet because yes. they they're like okay well, you know well, the adult price we'll chop off ten percent for the kids the kids do not get their money's worth for sure they're like their well, tummies are more than ten percent smaller and they don't want any of that food they're like you go through it and they're like okay I'll take the uh, the Cheerios that's a thirty five dollar bowl of yeah. Cheerios yeah all right well we are drafting the best buffet foods if there are some. <laughs> I mean, on today's show. Yeah, yeah of course there are. Course There's a reason are. buffets are still around everywhere. <laughs> After all that. Yeah, because they make 125% on everything. We should open a buffet. Yeah, okay. I would visit it. <laughs> you would you'd get high in your own <laughs> supply. Yeah. All right. I'm not, just a club, I'm not just the owner. I'm also a client. It's a personal buffet. Yeah. It's mine. All right, we are hopping in. Would you rather? This first question comes in from Darth Jar Jar on the website. It says, would you rather make air quotes every time you refer to somebody's job oh, man. or give a self-deprecating chuckle to end every sentence? <laughs> Wait, how can, a, how what, can a chuckle? So you're a podcaster. Yeah, mm-hmm. which everyone, when you tell people that you do a podcast, they're all... They already put it in air quotes for you. Mentally, the air quotes are happening, and I get it. I understand. Yeah, but talk to a stay-at-home mom. Oh, Oh, brother. So I hear you're a stay-at-home mom. (laughs) That is so insulting. (laughs) I mean, how do you come back from that? I was going to go like doctor. Oh, yeah, or judge. Like a judge in a courtroom? Ah, you're a judge. But but attacking a stay-at-home parent. Like they're not... Working their mm-hmm. butt up. That's oh, your job? my goodness. I mean, our jobs are way easier than, <laughs> than people actually raising children. Oh, Nurses? Man. Now, yeah. they, Oh, so you're a nurse? <laughs> oh, okay. man. I mean, that is... Oh, I, I'm but, uncomfortable. <laughs> but here's the... I have a problem with the second part of this would you rather, because the second part says give a self-deprecating chuckle to the end of every sentence. What does that sound like, Jay? Oh, I, like a... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but self-deprecating... <laughs> Is in the content, not yeah. in the chuckle. Like if I said, what if not, you "Hey, you're s- looking really good today, Mike." <laughs> I mean, that's, like, that's not self-deprecating. That's not self-deprecating. Right. Yeah, I mean, it has to be. What n- if you said like, or oh, whatever? Yeah, <laughs> it has to be nervous. You're like, I, 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 we should go to the store today. <laughs> <laughs> like high pitch. I mean, that would be pretty bad. You would you would come across as the least. Oh, you'd be obnoxious. Confident. Every sentence? <laughs> I I don't know. I think. Do you mind if I sit here? <laughs> I, um, I, I I think you would never have friends that would ever want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that that's that's worse than the other one? Yeah. Well, How I'm, often are we? You're talking about somebody's job to them. Not very often, but usually, never after this. <laughs> usually, when you meet someone. You know what, what do I mean? You like, do for a living. Yeah, exactly. It's just a normal uh, grown-up icebreaker when you meet another fellow adult, and you're like, "Oh, what, what do you do?" Oh, uh, you're in the army. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a problem. I think I. The other one. It's too much, though. Every I know, sentence. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think you could do that. I mean, no. the, after every single sentence. <laughs> I guess I'm going to go with the air quotes. and It has to be done. Just insult some people's and occupations. Just avoid them. I hope you have some really bad occupations, friends. I mean, it doesn't matter. That's the nice thing about this. If you are a plumber or a lawyer or a state, it is insulting to everyone. Is there it any, is universally Are there any awful. that aren't? What's a what's a known super easy job? Clown. Oh, a clown? <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, I feel like you could get away with it on you could a clown. Put, you could put, oh, you're a clown? What about a waiter? Well, you're a waiter? Yeah, because then, I mean. Because you're, you're making s- fun of the name of no, it? No, no, no. Then you're spinning it like they're just currently a waiter as they're waiting for their big break into whatever uh, area has, they're going into. Has there ever been a waiter 
who is not waiting for that big acting gig. <laughs> is, is there yes. ever been I a mean, waiter who's not an actor? That's my yeah. question. Oh, I don't think not, that's true. not in Los Angeles, but across across this nation, of course. There's there's lovely people who wait. But, so they, wait. Want, but they want to be an actor. <laughs> this could <laughs> well, be a problem. We all do. Yeah, what happens true. if you meet a dancer? Oh, that's a <laughs> oh, you're oh, dancer. No. Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's a problem. That's a... All right, Jared from Patreon. Would you rather spend 12 minutes in a walk in freezer with a piping hot bowl of soup or 30 minutes in a hot sauna with a bowl of ice cream? Soup. Well, Soup. In, in both scenarios, the food is unaffected by the temperature. Somehow. I think it's meant to be a comfort to you. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. okay. So that's the goal. It's not supposed to be like something you hold on to. It's more like, you know, what's going to help you get through which one? Well, and the the time is different here. Uh, Twelve minutes in the walk-in freezer. Now, why thirty is minutes. That? I, the reason is because I think there's a limit to how long you can really be in a freezer. Really? Like people that's do longer than getting cooked, like a. Well, but I mean, saunas, you become the soup in the second one. Yeah, w- one of these is made for people. It exists. Oh, a sauna only for people to your, go. I was reading? picturing a hot tub. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. I okay. A sauna. You're. Ju- I get it now. You know, people, that's a steam room. How long yeah. do people go in there? Thirty minutes is normal. Yeah, that's normal. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, not me. <laughs> one, I don't go to places that have saunas. Those How are usually gyms. Sweaty, would you be, Jason, in oh. a sauna? Would I, you? I think I would come out 150 pounds less. I, I'm, I'm just uh, because I sweat so much. You are the sweaty. I would sweat in the freezer, man. I, <laughs> With the hot I, soup. I the would soup just, is too hot. Yeah, the soup is too hot. I'm still sweating everywhere. I'd come out and I'd just have a sheer of of ice all over me. I think I was gonna say nobody does one of these for a benefit, but that's not even true. People go into ice baths. Yes. People do those stand up, you know, where your head's poking out and the rest of your body gets frozen for a little while. So people do both of these for therapeutic purposes. People put saunas into their home on purpose to be in a sauna. And uh, and uh, I mean, rarely both, with ice cream. Both uncomfortable, but the walk-in freezer. I mean, will it? It will become painful at a point to be that cold when when you're, when you're that hot like i agree it doesn't hurt you're just like oh it's, endurance it's so hot and you've got ice cream that's but yeah you're gonna but help bowl. would you smear it on yourself versus eating it well i think you're Brooks, side, I hear- you're sidestepping the rules because if it can't if it stays cold it's i mean this is magical ice cream you can't you can't use that to cool down your body i but, imagine it's but here's it's a, suffering underneath the uh bowl, oh food is unaffected by the ambient temperature yeah. So you're 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 skirting the rules here, but a bowl of ice cream, Andy. You have <sighs> how long is that lasting? That's the problem here. You got thirty minutes in this. I can't. Sauna. I can't nibble on some ice cream. It wait. tastes too good because that's you get, what I'm saying. You get another bite and you're like, oh, I want to wait. But you better then, give me some chocolate just so it lasts a little longer. Where are you at with cold headaches? I get them. Okay, you still do. I get them, but not with like. Uh, I don't get them with ice cream. How is this possible? I've never gotten a cold. I mean, I've gotten what? a... No, he's not... Some I've, people have... I've had a brain freeze like once or twice oh in my, my life. Oh, my goodness. But it's not very common You can me. get me with 100% of the time with a Wendy's Frosty. 100%. Really? 100%. I, that's what I, that's because why they I bring put frozen water in them. Because I... Re- that's I, called ice? <laughs> but, but that's different than ice cream. Ice cream is frozen milk. I I've, just had a Frosty like a week ago. And I got not one, but I think like three. A, a countless amount, yeah. And I'm r- like really, really painful. It didn't stop me from eating the Frosty. A really cold slushy will do it too, But like a smoothie. I feel like the older I've gotten, the far more intense that these these cold headaches or brain freezes are. And Everybody tries to tell you how to stop them, and yeah. I don't know how to stop them. Put I, your thumb on the top of the yeah, roof of your mouth. You're supposed to warm up the roof of your mouth with yeah, your thumb or your tongue. That's just that's how you're supposed to get it done. What are you cackling about I over am, here? I'm so I, look, my answer is clearly going to be the freezer. Y'all both know uh, I'm yeah, going to the freezer. Of course. I like being cold. I want I the ice cream. That. I'm in the sauna. <laughs> Jason would take the soup and just yeah. – Pour it out. Like if I've got to be in the just in the amazing. freezer, set the ball on the yeah. side and just sit in the freezer dancing. <laughs> if the question was switching, you've got to have ice cream in the freezer or hot soup. I'd be like, okay, I'll take the ice cream in the freezer. That's fine. <laughs> but all jokes aside, milk. all jokes aside, because we're not trying to be silly on this show. No, we. Um, I wanted to know, like, okay, 
how when when does it become dangerous? Obviously, it's only twelve minutes in the freezer, thirty minutes in the sauna. You can't just live in a freezer as a human being. Eventually, you yes. will. You'll get real sleepy. You'll, and then yeah, you'll, you'll, you won't. Yeah, how wake long can how long can you go on a walk in freezer? Well, so I I don't I didn't be find the exact answer, but in looking for, I'm on this like uh, scientific journal here. Oh yeah, and he's I read the found studies. Found a funny paragraph in here. Um, it says when. Sh- when shivering stops, it's time to worry. This is the this is their well, words. So when you stop shivering, yeah, so I've heard that before. When shivering stops, it's time to worry. Even if you are fat, you will begin to lose <laughs> heat quickly. <laughs> it says that. <laughs> that's its words. Even Don't rely you on your fat. blubber. Hold on. I mean, it, but this is a scientific journal. It doesn't have a. Is this a, a dot gov? A, a more. Uh, Sciency way of no, saying, like, just, should you happen to be that's overweight? what I was chuckling at. Like, no, if you fat, falling into a oh state of hypothermia gosh. once your core body temperature drops below thirty five degrees Celsius. But if you're fat, like, don't, you don't rely on it. You don't have better words for me than this. <laughs> now, even if you're a fat, so you can freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, so we don't know how long you could survive in there. I don't. know. I think over an hour, one. right? What I do yeah. know is yeah, that, for sure. based on them calling that out, I know I can last longer than you two. Because okay? uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, clearly the there's fat. something good to being fat in the freezing. <laughs> Just ask whales. Um, okay. <laughs> we will move on. Michael from the website. Would you rather have to drive using only your left foot or control all electronics with only your non-dominant hand? Mm. Driving with your left foot, if you were forced to do it today. You'd figure it out. It would be terrifying. It, in the beginning, it would be a nightmare. I think both of these, it though, you would even figure work. out. Both of these eventually. Getting over to the right side of the, so, oh, know, the, do the, we have the pedal. To, yeah, do we have to left foot in our left-sided steering you mobiles? Betcha. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're in an American car, okay. and we still have our right foot attached to our right leg. Do you know anybody that two-foot drives? Oh, uh, no. gosh, please don't. My mom two-foot drives. No. Oh, no. no. That's how she learned. Yeah, that's but she can unlearn. She can grow. Yeah, but you don't. No, you can't. Not after a certain age. That'd be more dangerous. Wow. So she really does. She, she breaks right, it the left. Br- breaks it the left. Right foot drive. How many accidents has your mom? None. Had? Never. Impressive. Never. She she's driven twelve miles <laughs> <laughs> in her wonderful long life. It's actually I couldn't even believe it. It was like it wasn't something that we got to choose. Like you want your dad's way or your mom's way when it was time to drive. Like, no, cause there's we, only one right. We lane. drive normally, but apparently that's how she learned. Now does it, do they change the brake pads like every 20 miles? Yeah, I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I think the, the reason they have you one foot drive is because oh, it's much safer. It's because of your reaction time yes. is faster. I, but I guess if your mu- if your muscle memory has your left foot set to brake, you're I, good. I literally just had this conversation with one of my kids. Like, Two days ago, they thought that's how you drove. Well, they just, yeah, they were asking, well, why do you use the one foot? And I was saying, be- because it's safe in in case of an emergency. If you have to use two limbs and you're in that fight or flight, like you're far more likely to make a mistake. You could you're accidentally both. hit. You could it's... accidentally hit the yes. accelerator. Exactly. Yeah. You need to not be in the danger zone of being able to brake when you mean to accelerate, or yes. accelerate when you need to brake, or Doing both at the same time on accident. I think that's like that's, probably the more common problem with two foot driving. It's not the emergency problem, but just if you're resting your foot a little bit on the brake while you're driving, not good. Where were we going with this discussion? This was about oh, the uh, left foot. Yeah, you yeah. got to do a crossover left foot. Very inconvenient. That's that's much worse than a yeah. two foot. Yes, that's way worse. You got to get. Your right foot has to almost be. I'd almost be tempted to throw it over into the passenger Absolutely. seat at this point. You got You got to hope that it's not a manual <laughs> stick shift. Otherwise, oh boy. your leg's gonna get in, in the way of that. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm leaning over. the The right leg is getting the. Uh, maybe I'll sit on my right leg. You could sit you on. You know what I mean? Okay. Go, go a little yeah, yeah. on. Oh, my but knees. now your left leg's not gonna be long enough. Get higher up. <laughs> it's not gonna be long enough to. I'll push the seat forward. Oh, okay. I mean, That's a I'm, real. You're gonna have don't a, get in an accident because you're going to be in an origami situation. Also, every time you get out of your car, you're going to collapse. <laughs> yeah, my right leg's <laughs> not going to work. Fully asleep. The other one you is, drove to California that way? Non-dominant control of all electronics. I Look, do you guys have a favorite ear for the phone call? I don't use my ear most of the time with a phone call. What? 
Well, I mean, I like okay. So around, <laughs> around what do you the, do? You, well, like you use your tongue. Like, no, how do you I'm listen? Just, you're tasting the vibrations. I guess I, what what I'm saying is the majority of the time that I am speaking on the phone, I'm either talking through my car or on speakerphone or have AirPods. Or, you you do the switch. So if you're in in your house and you get a call. What do you do? You switch it to speaker right yeah, away? I'm probably just on speaker. Just for the walk around? Yeah. You just, you just want everyone knowing your business. Oh, well, not necessarily. I do like the speaker phone, too. But anyways, good. When you're alone. But it, when, when, when I you have answer to pick with it my up, phone, I'm always on the left. You're a left. I'm a left-handed person. Is that what it is? Mike, where do you go? I'm 100% right side. I've tried to do some left switching, and it's weird. It is weird. I will say that. when yeah. I've. You know, you get fatigued, right? You've been talking for a I while. Don't, I don't you, know. You try to switch? Well, hold Someone on. Let's find call. out. I'm going to give you a phone call. I don't call. have a phone on me. Well, oh, that's well, going to make it harder. Very uh, difficult. Ring, ring, ring. Pick up your pretend <laughs> phone. Hello. I mean, it's probably my right. Okay. Because I right think it's just dominant hand. But when you're so that when you're using your phone, do you ever go left handed or for the weird guy, go right handed? Okay, so oftentimes I I when I tuck in my youngest kid, um, we've got like a bedtime routine, and he you know if he's scared, I'll sit with him for a while. He likes getting rubbed, and so I'll I'll play on my phone in one hand, yes, and like rub his back to sleep yep. with the other. Okay. But every now and then I'm sitting on the wrong side of the bed, yeah. where basically I've got to switch my phone to the to the off hand, and it's it's been publicized before. I play Sudoku on my phone a lot. That's kind of my go to game. And you got to reach it's these been numbers. publicized. Yeah. Forbes wrote about yeah, that. Exactly. 30, th Sudoku master. 40, 40 at 40. Is, yeah. Uh, Forbes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's impossible. 40 doing 40. Yeah. Right. It's impossible. Like, I can't do it. I have to stand up, Wait. walk around the bed, and go to the other. Let me ask you a question. When you do the back rub phone mm -hmm. with your child, what's the hand you prefer? Your left? I, I am on the phone phone i With use left my hand. left my dominant hand uh le i'm left-handed i use my dominant hand on the phone so, so you like non-dominant back rub so he's getting a less than back rub oh yeah because well, yeah, i can I'm back rub choose. with a much better yeah, i'm not with the choose, dominant hand uh not gonna choose him over me that's not happening okay you know? see i do the left-handed first yeah, i do the right. left-handed phone more often anyways really non you're non-dominant and i give great back rubs to my kids <laughs> with the dominant wow. hand i can't believe that you use your non-dominant yeah. hand by I'd default. be fine with that. Yeah, and I do, do not. Do you switch? Are you confident? No, I'm, a, I'm, right? a, I'm more confident on the left. I'm, I'm, what? I'm phone pedestrious. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I could go back and forth. So I'm gonna take that one. Uh, I think that's not gonna be a problem, and I won't be careening into some other vehicle <laughs> <Wow>. within like <laughs> a day. I'm gonna be sitting on my leg, learning how to drive with my left. Okay, right. Mike. Final answer. Uh, I will take the uh, the electronics. All right, Ricky from Twitter. Would you rather be able to, uh, or not be able to swim? Or not be able to run. One of these seems well. Ooh. I was going to say one of these seems far more common and often, but then I remembered I haven't run in years. You have because we we play, play some pickle sports. Ball. Yeah, but I don't really run in yes, pickleball. Yes, you do. I, I don't think that that qualifies as running. If He's I, getting up ahead of steam. He's yeah. never got to the run part. <laughs> right, like <laughs> he's just starting. <laughs> like I don't think you can run for two steps. That's not running. What would that be called? I, that's a great question. If let's you are, answer, let's if answer you that question. If you are in a movement, a three-step movement, but at times during that movement, you have no feet on the ground, what would you call that? Impressive that you think I can get <laughs> both feet off the ground. When uh, you're running, there's time. I know. There's a time period that when you have no feet on the ground. When was the last time you ran by your definition of running? Was it when we were working out and having to do sprints or something? Yeah. yeah or or like was, the last... Uh, like grocery store you you robbed right well you got to get out quick you yeah, know you, you don't run. you, you don't want to you can't walk up like, hold on i can't run anymore um yeah it's been a it's been a at least a year since i've ran and i've swam multiple times this now, summer i would think not being able to swim is very dangerous i would, I would say so there yes. are, there are definitely in, but, situations. but not being able to run could be very dangerous you cannot escape any sort of danger imagine you choose that one right uh -huh. you keep the swimming and then there's a there's an emergency like a building right there's a bomb mm. threat everyone's running out of there and you're walking you're just like walking out I'm coming everybody can you at least power walk yeah but both but yeah swish, one, one swish, foot swish. has to be on the ground at all times right that's is that yeah. the definition of running yes. cuz is, is it better to die in the collapse of the building than it is to be caught power walking out of the building <laughs> 
my on problem, camera. My problem when you start look at this guy. You when as soon as you start power walking, just out of nowhere, up a, a fanny pack just clips right around your waist, just appears, and you your shoes turn into white new. And balance. your shorts become very short. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you, your socks go. Oh, up they to your go knees. way high. Um, my my real issue with the running here, and and I I didn't factor this in. You said, well, what about if there's an emergency going on? And I started to think. <clears throat> you might poop your pants if you can't run. That's the emergency that sometimes. Oh, because you okay. got to get to. You got to get to that toilet. You got. You, you know. Uh, but so you're you also, power walking. You're you're pooping and you're power walking. You might poop your pants because you ran though. So you're saying that the power walk is better than the run if you got to take a dump. When I've I've found that when I'm in. Uh, when I'm redlining, I think you're right. <laughs> that yeah. that you gotta you you can't have the the concussive jarring of running. I read, or, will not. I poop. redlined recently. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. You redlined. I redlined recently. How re? Uh, how how here? How close? It was about get? a month ago. Okay. okay. We got real close. <laughs> We almost we got, did it again, we huh? We got real close. It's a shame that Owl is not here for this. Oh, he was involved. Because he was involved. Did you Did you simultaneously redline? No, no. This is just... just <laughs> and then be, have a fight for him. Oh, is his, this when he was trying to get you home? Yes. He, in a vehicle? Yes. I was in oh, his no. vehicle. Oh, no. So he was the driver. He was the driver. Oh, no. Right foot or left foot? <laughs> I hope he was right foot driving. Um, but it was like, yeah, this, like, this is going to be a problem. And At, at and, what point of the drive... And like of of the of the the meter, mm-hmm. like one to five, where you, five is you really got to go. At what point did you actually say something to him? Uh, I I so I had actually told him prior to driving. How long of a drive was this? It was a it was a good it was a good uh, fifteen minute drive. Okay, and I had told him prior, like this is gonna this could be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> before before leave, the leave. drive yeah but there wasn't there wasn't an opportunity there there wasn't a place and so and then i felt better you know how it comes in waves yeah sure so i felt better and this was it's like, be- it's like a tide yeah yeah it's a tide the tide was the tide had rolled out the i birth, think I birth, they call them birth pains yeah. so, and, well what's this was caused by medication i was on a medication that like this was like a possible side effect. <laughs> side effect yes Duke, dukalax <laughs> and um <laughs> and it was coming, and I was like, oh, man. I take a 10 of these. <laughs> you know, when you get the sweats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you Sweaty go, palms. Yeah, and so it's like. I I'm, have to know more about this. I said, well, I'm telling the story. <laughs> and so I'm I'm telling him, like, yeah, we got to get. We got to. <laughs> Let's hustle up. Um, and he doesn't want me to redline in his car any more <laughs> yeah, than I do. He's got the white interior, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a white okay, car. Just check it. And so we are, um, we're driving, and I'm telling you, you know, you everyone can experience it. Everyone's known this. If you got to go to the bathroom mm-hmm. and you've been holding it or whatever, as soon as your body knows you're close, as yes. soon as you yes. are at the house, as soon as you see the restroom door, you it are. It gets permission. It's like. Okay, come yeah. on, it's time. The valve, Relief the valve is loosens. Yeah. And unfortunately, I could see like the navigation map on his car <laughs> screen, and my body knew. It's oh, like, oh, no. you are you are 90 seconds away from his house, and I am I'm sweating. I'm like, you got to go. You got you to gotta go. And then when we get to his house, there was like a car and other stuff in front of his house where there was like no place to park. Oh no! Did you so, get a drop off? So, Uber style? Yeah, I basically got a drop off. <laughs> but I say all of this to say, and he pre-opened his garage door like from his phone on the drive, so I could run in straight in through the garage. That's where the the guest bathroom is, and I say all this. <laughs> and to I say, wrecked it. <laughs> I did, but I say all this to say, I did not run. I needed to get in there. But oh, you're yeah. right, yeah. Mike. Yeah. Because if I had ran, yep. I had <laughs> pooped. There you'd seepage. Yeah. That's <laughs> just too you gotta keep the legs close enough together. <laughs> because you don't want to spread the You those need legs to maintain far. the clinch. Absolutely. And so, are we thankful you didn't have any speed bumps on that road on the way in? A speed bump would have been a real problem. <laughs> it would have been a brown line. Uh, oh, instead man. of the red line. Yeah. Wow, so, what um, a good friend. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. So I don't need the running, is what I just learned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swim, and now I can't even. Now I've got an excuse, like. Well, you won't be pooping in the pool if you. Uh, <laughs> never. If you always drown in the pool. Well, but you right. Could, yeah, you mean. Well, you if you drown without. in the pool, you might. Oh, okay. Poop yeah. Right afterwards. Oh no. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the running. 
Yeah, me too. I'm going to throw away this the swimming. You can still wade, right? Of course. You can still wade. If your feet can touch the ground, you don't all of a sudden freak out. Okay. I don't know, man. I feel like if I couldn't swim, I'd be afraid to like wade to the waist. No, waste. I think fine, th- like. I think there are some people like that. I got a friend who can't swim, and they don't go. They don't want to even wade in the ocean. Well, they oh, I get the ocean because the if you're they won't if, even walk on the shores. With if their you feet lose your in. if you lose your balance, the ocean a wave can take you back in. Okay, or if, like I come up and shove you in. <laughs> That'll get you <laughs> too. <Learn> to swim. <laughs> gotcha. What All a right, funny goof. Let's uh, let's move on. Spitwads, your bedroom deserves a refresh, and now is the perfect time to elevate the most important room in your home with Thuma. Let me introduce you to uh, what they call the bed by Thuma. Handcrafted from eco-friendly, high-quality, upcycled wood, you will find the beautiful, unique variations in the natural grain. It is an incredible product, and uh, their perfect platform bed just got better. You can now customize it by choosing... Uh, from their original pillow board or their new solid wood headboard. So they are, they're, they're making it better somehow. I don't really understand it. It's made for how you live. The Bed by Thuma is backed by a lifetime warranty. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful product. And they work with their One Tree Planted program to plant one tree for every bed and nightstand sold. And all of their essentials are Green Guard Gold certified. Create that feeling of checking into your favorite boutique Hotel suite, you know, like Al does all the time. But at home with the bed by Thuma. And now go to thuma.co slash ballers to receive a $25 credit towards the purchase of the bed plus free shipping in the continental U.S. Go to thuma.co slash ballers. That's T-H-U-M-A dot C-O slash ballers for a $25 credit. Is this real life? All right. Is this real life? We have each found uh, real life stories, articles, newsworthy things that have happened that when we saw them, we said to ourselves, this cannot be true. And yet it is. And we share them with one another right now. Uh, Jason, why don't you kick us off if you don't mind? I don't mind. <clears throat> According to Man the poops pants in car. <laughs> Man, ironically, starts... Man trapped aloft in hydrogen balloon for two days. Oh, no. <laughs> two days? <laughs> oh, two days. No. Floating Tell around the sky. No. He traveled trapped. 200 miles. Oh, my gosh. He traveled. Is he alive? He is alive. All right. Step <clears throat> one. Yeah. I, I think I probably don't choose this <laughs> story if it's like yeah. man that's, dies in tragic that's a, accident. That's a different show. That is not um, this pod. But no, the, the uh, so this was a hydrogen balloon that apparently is the newer way to um, harvest acorn nuts. So you, instead of going up in these really tall trees that are like 200 feet tall and climbing up and it's much less safe, you get this hydrogen balloon that is kind of tied to the ground. And it's basically a hot air balloon. Like I looked these yeah. up after... Reading this, it's but it's it's smaller. The basket is just you know it it, it fits. You can it's fit for one two people, but like not comfortably. This isn't you know like a hot air balloon where you're going up and it's this beautiful. But it's the same kind of design, and apparently it became detached from the ground. Oh my goodness! And there aren't the controls like in a hot air balloon, uh, quite the same. And the there were which two, are already none. There were two. <laughs> there were two people in the basket, and when it became detached, one jumped out. Uh, and See the- ya, sucker! Well, well, here's the truth. Two should have jumped out. Can you wait? So one jumped out, and the other said, I am floating off forever. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot imagine how terrifying that would be to just be like, what do I do? Because you're thinking about jumping, right? And yeah, I'm there's sure, a certain point where you're saying you can't jump anymore. I mean, uh, y- yeah, you're, you're, maybe <laughs> even in the beginning you're thinking, oh, I, I can't jump. Now I really can't jump. Now I'm dead <laughs> because <laughs> you, you floated off, and I don't know. How high? Like in my mind, it goes forever. I think. Yeah, I, yeah. Here's here's what I think happens. Space. <laughs> I I think I go so high that I either lose oxygen and will yeah, die that yeah. way, or I will go so high that this balloon is not made for it and it's gonna pop. Or you freeze. 
I that wouldn't happen in my mind. You're right scientifically, okay. but I didn't get there. Right. You figured um, pop balloon down you go. Pop balloon down I go. Off I go into the atmosphere. Burn up. Die. Yeah, so that didn't no happen? oxygen. Whatever. So it didn't happen. Um, apparently he just floated for two days and two hundred miles, and eventually, like the next day. They were able to get a hold of him on his cell phone. Oh, no. He floated somewhere where he was in close enough range, and they basically told him he needs to, like, start leaking out the hydrogen somehow, and he did. And That was my first thought is if I'm on the way up and I have a fear of going into outer space and or freezing and or not breathing, it's two days you're up there. You hadn't come up with a plan to just leak some hydrogen out of that thing? At what point? I don't know. I That's mean, exactly get, how you get down in a hot air balloon. You stop putting hot air into it. You, you're you up there for two days. That's 48 hours. That's so long. No After, food, what no are you water. Doing? Yeah, what are you doing? After the first- Sudoku, he had his phone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> After the first 24 hours, you got to start thinking of a plan. Yes. Right? Yeah. You got to do something, but um, he Maybe made it. The plan was waited out. And he, uh, good plan, man. Wow. Well, my, my uh, Is This Real Life is brief. It is simply a really hilarious mental picture to me. So I'll share it, and then we'll go on to Mike's. Here's the headline. Man arrested after four-mile-an-hour police chase <laughs> of narrowboat on uh, the Grand Union Canal for eight miles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah four miles an hour? At four miles an hour. Do that math. That's two with two hours. Yeah. So he traveled. Great math. Um. And are you, do you know what a narrow boat is I for these Googling canals? Now. These are like really, really long, thin boats. Oh yeah. That people. Uh, this are was, they narrow? They're very narrow. <laughs> they are. And uh, for, okay. Oh yeah. Like it's, okay. Like a river a, boat. Peaky Blinders has uh, some. Yeah, narrow Peaky boats. Blinders. Yeah, and but these boats go four miles an hour, and apparently this uh, this gentleman, thirty seven years old, was arrested uh, eventually on the suspicion of assault and breaching a restraining order. But the best part in my head is that these police investigators were lying in wait to catch him and followed him. He No, <laughs> bike. They were on uh. bikes. So they followed the four mile an hour narrow boat on bikes until eventually he gave up, pulled over well, and ended the high speed James Bond esque chase. They're going to be way out ahead of him. I know. <laughs> because going I just Googled. How fast do people walk? And on average, they walk three to four miles per hour. <laughs> and like, on a bike to go that slow, you're in the wobble zone yeah. where you can fall over. I mean, you're just walking, talking to this guy like, hey, dude, you, you got nowhere to go. For what is this eight guy's miles. What is his plan? Yeah, he did not have a good plan. I mean, like, the you're never going to catch me. <laughs> like when you the people who do it in a car, you have these grandiose dreams of I'm going to make it to Mexico somehow an unsecured part of the border, and as soon as I get over, they're not allowed to follow me or something just crazy like that. But you're in a boat. Do you think he was they're- hoping for a waterfall? <laughs> Maybe. So, some kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> follow me down the, the rapids. To go over the top. <laughs> there's there's got to be a tunnel somewhere. I hope he had a 45-point turn to turn back the other way. So that's what I mean. You're, you're going... You can't turn around. You're going four miles an hour, one direction... Have you ever had a strategy if you ever got in a high-speed chase? Have uh, you ever thought about how you could evade police uh, in nowadays? Not, I haven't thought through it. I have thought of the opposite of like what to do if I'm getting chased down by like a bad guy, well, but, which I, is... I mean, which is really well, you see these police drive chases. Drive to a police station. <laughs> okay, okay, that makes yeah. sense. You see the chases on the news, and you know that they've got... You know, you've got... Helicopters. Uh, helicopters. You've got infrared cameras. All of that stuff. Like, what's the plan, man? It has to be some sort of... I've always thought parking structure. I think you got to yeah, go find a big get, parking structure that you can go into so you can go park and then lay down on the ground or sneak out of the car and get lost. But you're just you're you're alive in a coffin at that point. Like there's nowhere but, for you to go. It's a parking structure one in. You got to pretend you're one of the like other people yeah. in the parking structure. Yeah, you switch cars. You got to get a different car. You got to get in a different car and get out of there. I would think you could like, I would be like, get out of my car. I'd run over and I go, he went that way. <laughs> oh, I you know, I'm I'm going under the bridge. And then I'm hopping out and keeping that car going, and so Ooh. you know they're gonna fall. Oh, so the you you, you like the helicopter a, sees the car go. And you this put is a, a brick on the accelerator. A terrible crash. Oh, I was imagining. 
<laughs> That's just, pretty good. Just pushing the gas as much as it could, then getting up. Yeah. So the car just kind of <laughs> goes what to I was six saying. feet in front of him. Yeah, I turned stopped. the cruise control on. Okay. How fast could you? How fast of a car do you think you can jump out of onto concrete and still be oh, functional gosh. to run? That's got to be twenty or lower. Yeah, twenty is twenty. You got to get my... your feet going real fast. Well, no, I do the roll. I wouldn't be uh, trying to. What run. does the science document say about fat people when they do that? They say they're better at rolling. <laughs> okay. All right. Sh- more shapely. Hey, it's science, Mike. I'm not <laughs> hey, yeah. saying anything the scientists wouldn't say. <laughs> All right, Mike. What's your is this real life? All right. So mine is about uh, football. Okay. Or as we call it, soccer. There are a specifically about a uh, a defender. His name is Marcelo. Uh, he was on the uh, so the Brazilian defender Marcelo. He was on the Lion first team and he was like he got into some discipline stuff with the team and he had to be removed and that discipline comes from the here is the headline marcelo dropped from lion first team for quote farting and laughing in in dressing (laughs) farting and laughing so that's his final straw (laughs) so he uh apparently got into it with the management where they they caught him laughing during the uh uh, the captain was giving a speech to, you know, rally the troops before he go into a contest. <laughs> and he was, <laughs> well, I think he was maybe oh. laughing at the, the speech, not being, not considering it to be serious. And then, uh, he had been disciplined, uh, by the club for repeatedly farting <laughs> among, oh, yes. among his teammates in the dressing room. We warned you. And laughing in the presence of management. So, so wow. he literally... Farted so much and got warnings, and then said, "I can't. I'm gonna still gonna fart." It's, I find it so funny because yes. <laughs> the best part is, it's not like he's just farting and got fired. He's farting and laughing about it. He's committed to, in the to face the bit. of management. Marcelo's butt cello, very nice. That is, I so I. I mean, they I, finally I, let me go. Why, honey? Why don't you have a job anymore? I farted my way out of here. Oh man! Wow, that's special. All right, we are drafting. Let's do it. Spitwads, have you heard about prize picks for any of the daily fantasy football players out there? I know there's a lot of you. Prize picks is a really fun, really easy game. How it works is you just pick two to five players, and if they score more or less than their prize pick projections based on what you choose, you can win up to 10 times your money on any entry. There's no competing against other people. It's just you versus the prize picks projections available. Me personally, I'm saying uh, Bill's over and I'm fading the Cardinals this week and every week because they stink. Uh, They offer projections for any sport you watch. Sure, the NFL, but NBA, MLB, NHL, PGA, college football, men's college basketball, women's college basketball, soccer, Esports, MMA, I mean, they got cricket. So basically, if you want to bet on anything, it is safe. It is fast withdrawals. Entries can be made in 60 seconds or less. Very easy. They are currently operational in over 30 states and Canada. Download the Prize Picks app or go to prizepicks.com to sign up and play daily fantasy sports. First time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with the promo code SPITBALLERS. If you deposit $100, Prize Picks will give you. $100. If you deposit 50, prize picks will give you $50. Don't forget to enter the promo code SPITBALLERS at sign up for an instant deposit match up to $100. The Spitballers Draft. All right, we are drafting the best foods at a buffet, and I have the first pick. And I don't think it's going to be the right pick, but it's going to be the pick that I can't live without. Mm, interesting. Because I think back at the handful of, you know, more than a handful of times I've gone to a buffet. And I think of when, when have I really wanted to indulge? And when have I been happy that I have an unlimited amount of something? And when, when do I have a fond memory of that, right? We talk about how much you can eat. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I think you might take mine. I genuinely think this is the best actual thing at a buffet. It's not at every buffet. It should be. But it's an ice cream Sunday buffet. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sunday bar would have been my first because pick. Because really? yeah. you get to go 
back and back and back. And I have I'm well known in my uh, region as one of the <laughs> I can eat a lot of ice cream. Yeah. Quantity wise. It's really all I want to do in life. And so I've enjoyed that at a buffet before. I feel like I benefit from the fact it's unlimited. And uh, are you allowed to put your mouth to the nozzle at a buffet? <laughs> Uh, I don't. Th I think they frown on that. Yeah, yeah. They probably don't like yeah. that. What the best part of the Sunday bar to me is the, like, <clears throat> that I'm in control. You're in of, control. I'm in the control toppings. of the toppings. How much chocolate fudge do I actually want on here? Way too much. I can do it. No one's going to stop me because I'm the one who's in control. I feel like buffets Sunday bars are usually there's there's hot fudge, yeah. which I I've never been a huge fan of. Um, and then there is, there's usually a there's bowl caramel. Of, there's always caramel of like, uh, peanuts or mm -hmm. something. So there's usually like some sprinkles and, and may, yes, yeah, sprinkles are there. Yeah. And sprinkles maybe are some, always there. Uh, maybe some gummy bears. Oh, there's caramel. There's always caramel. And Two pumps. There's a hot fudge pump and a caramel pump. Oh, I'd say, I, I would say the three and the uh, strawberry one. Yeah. And it's there's the some, fake sometimes there's stuff. some Oreos too. Yeah, the, you are underestimating the Sunday bar. I'm gonna have to go to a buffet and check That's it all, out. I I have to I have to go with the ice cream Sunday bar. It's because on brand. It's on brand, and you guys have four picks before I pick again. I can't risk losing my favorite thing on earth. <laughs> I, I would have taken it first. Would uh, you really? Yeah. Well, nice. More. Uh, I like you, Mike. I love the Sunday bar, and I would be playing the game of knowing I had to get it before you got it. All right. So then that takes my first pick. I will go. I'm going to because it's it's part of this is is not just the the food uh it's it's the the pageantry of it that I get to tell a feller this is exactly how I want to do it so like a in my in my opinion a good buffet has this it is the omelet bar mm, yeah omelet <laughs> bar where they give me the piece of paper I get to check all the fillings and things that I want what and, would you fill what is your oh, I'm I, real boring I see cheese yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta ham? go with some cheese and some hams. Maybe uh, I'm I'm good with the spinach in the uh, oh, really? the omelet, and maybe some more cheese. I'm a little wow. embarrassed to say this, but I've just never really loved an omelet. Yeah, I feel oh. like an omelet is somehow not that good. The only place I get omelets is a buffet. <laughs> it was an omelet. Would bar. be I, they have the fancy omelet bar. I'm like, ooh, I'll go there. I so prefer a scramble to an omelet. I prefer a scramble. Or yeah, absolutely. All right, um, but well, you, they don't have like. I mean, you can take it's still up for grabs if you want to get it, but it's not fresh. Is a the scramble thing, and a skillet pretty different? No, those are the same. A okay. scramble and a okay. skillet are right. identical. One just uh, comes in a skillet. You. A skillet is a, like a deconstructed omelet. Yeah, yeah. Um, take it apart. Yeah, they start with an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> well, this it's is a really long process. This yeah. is great because my two. Uh, picks I wanted both came to me easy peasy. I I thought where you were going because you kind of talked about childhood and and uh, yeah. and yeah. quantity. Yeah, yeah, I know where you're going. And so at a buffet, quantity is key. And when you're a kid and you is a oftentimes it's a breakfast buffet. I find that a lot of my picks here are breakfast buffets. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. But when you can grab as much bacon as you want, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can load like usually. If I'm at a, I, I just take the tongs, I slide them in there, and I yeah. squeeze, and I put whatever comes onto my plate, and it's usually about sixteen pieces of bacon. <laughs> I mean, it's now granted, it's not always the best bacon. It's usually paper thin, um, real but, wilty. But uh, yeah, no, I, I, I that's so you're my going favorite. bacon. Bacon that, that is makes my sense. number one. I've my, got bacon in my omelet. Um. Ooh, <laughs> you've got bacon bits Ooh. in your omelet. Um, Probably. All right. Um, uh, the, oh. uh, the other thing is not every buffet has this. And while this isn't always about quantity, it is something that I'm always disappointed when a buffet does not have this. And I'm excited when it does. So I'm going to take the thing that excites me. It's the meat carving station. Yeah, it's on my list. I mean, I, I've never experienced a buffet oh, meat oh. carving station. You, what? That's, that's a good time. They that's, usually and it's it's wait they they carve it for you. They, it, oh yeah. Oh okay. I, okay. I, yeah, I have done that. Where I, I thought it was for you to carve. No, 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 no. They don't let the buffet goers have not. Yeah, it's always a guy and he's got the big chef hat mm -hmm. on. Looks real fancy, and it's what I've experienced. It's almost always roast beef. It's like a prime rib or. A ham, and the ham is where I, where it's okay. At. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. it, it's on my list. This uh, is good, Mike. You got one more pick, hopefully a bad one, before I get my well my number two and number three. I had to play the game 
uh, with this pick because this is if with my first pick after the Sunday. I didn't know Jason's omelet stance, so I couldn't take a chance that he would, uh, you know, not send it back. I didn't figure that this one would be on Jason's list. Uh, I'm just being mean. I'm going with the salad bar, baby. <laughs> You're right. I, I'm right. That you didn't yeah, want the salad. Yeah, it's so boring. I, like it's it's not. But here's. The salad bar at the buffet is is my favorite. Like I load up with the biggest salad you've ever seen, and because they got everything, they got uh, they got the hard boiled eggs, they got the meats, the cheeses, and a, a good salad bar has whatever dressing you want, and they're good. Like yeah. these are these are the fattiest, highest calorie version that you can get of the salad dressing, and then I just smother it in thousand island like you can't see my salad you just see a plate it's the least healthy thing you've ever made yes you see a plate of thousand island but underneath that there are some vegetables and i freaking love a a really robust salad bar it's, it's the customization you like from the ice cream yes you get to do it the way you want to do it one of the best parts of the salad bar if it's a good salad bar is that they have full pepperoni slices <laughs> yes they do and i've never had more <clears throat> i don't have pizza with as much pepperoni as as, as a, a salad, salad yes at a salad bar pepperoni seems to only exist in salad bars for uh, for salads right that's, or, i mean yeah. it, it's just like you always see them in salad bars but rarely do you get a pepperoni salad like that's not a menu item right no i get what you're saying there's like, no I've menu never item it's like a pepperoni salad i've <laughs> never seen a salad that i could think of that comes with pepperoni on it and but yet, every salad bar has pepperoni at yeah what have what's that all it's about great. it's fantastic so salad bar would have been uh one of my next two picks for sure nice uh, because of the customization factor yep. right you get to make it the way you want as much dressing as you want bacon was definitely on the list so you guys took a couple favorites there number one is going to be a pizza buffet Ah, okay. Yeah. I mean, okay. I thought Jason, you were going to go there instead of the bacon, but a pizza buffet, I can just eat as much as I want. They got variety. I can, I can intermingle. I mean, between, Hey, I want a meat pizza. I want, Oh, they got dessert pizza out there now. Totally what? agree. Except the hard part with a pizza buffet is you either have to be a, a, a hawk. Oh, and, for when and, they put the new pizza. Yeah, you out? just, you just. You just circle around until they actually put a fresh one out, or you're eating the just the most lukewarm, loose, floppy pizza that's or been sitting there for. As you say, you're eating the the least favorite if you're that not too. hawking. Yeah, but a good pizza buffet. They've got a, there. There's a lot of them cooks with the big hats, and they're putting them out there. <laughs> yeah, and and the nice thing is, like, you know, you might be listening and think pizza at the buffet is not the best pizza, and it's not right. But the floor of pizza is higher than almost every other type of food there is no such thing as bad pizza i go to a buffet and grab a slice of pizza and i eat it and i don't think this is bad for pizza i go mm, pizza yeah <laughs> that's, that's what i say too this next pick it's very difficult because i'm just worried about what's going to come back to me you two are you know hungry gentlemen and i'm just worried about what can i sneak Beyond your next four picks. Okay. And it's tough, but I'm going to go with pancakes. Oh. I'm going to go with the breakfast pancakes. You get as many as you want to have. You can go back and, and ha oh, I want a little extra pancake at the end of my breakfast. I just think the pancakes in the buffet, it's easy for them to, it works, right? It's they can, so easy. Pancakes are the easiest thing for anyone to ever make. Yeah, and so and they can stack. They can sit there under a heat lamp if they need to, and they're still good. I mean, I'm going to go with pancakes. Yeah, as, as much dap as I gave you for the pizza, the ceiling of pancakes is very low. Well, you do need to – yeah, that's fair. You do need to, you know, syrup those bad dogs up. And Of course. Butter. Uh, butter. Oh, yeah. butter. Oh, oh, butter. This guy, I don't know. I, I'm sure we've mm, done hundreds butter. of episodes. I'm yeah. sure we've talked about it, but it's worth knowing again. No one <laughs> butters things more than Mr. Andy Holloway. I've yeah. never he gets a full lump of butter. Is that what you call it? A, a scoop of butter, a butter ball? Yeah, whatever at, it is. You know, we go out to Cracker Barrel, get Mama's oh, French I missed toast. Those. We got to do that again. Yeah. Oh, yes, Let's please. Go to town, and he'll get one of those big balls of butter, and it's more. I love butter. I'm all about that life, but I, it's usually more than I use. One yeah. of those things mm -hmm, of butter. Mm -hmm. 
And Andy goes, can I get like three more of those? It's one per French toast piece. Two yes. facts about that. One, I found out recently my cholesterol is very high. Okay. Wait, really? Number two, I don't know why. You, Why have they not come out with the syrup mm -hmm. with the butter? 50-50. They try. 50-50. They That's uh, what I want on my pancakes. I mean, the close, they have that butter. This is butter's worth. Didn't put enough butter. The uh, the butter at uh, uh, Texas Roadhouse. There's already some. Well, it's, wait, it's the not, butter has syrup or the syrup has butter? It doesn't have syrup, but it's got it's like the it's cinnamon going. butter. Oh, no, Mike. I'm talking about maple syrup and butter as one. I, I feel like the cinnamon butter, though, would be Yeah, it would be a good, good. time. Well, I'm not complaining. Test yeah. that. We yeah. should give it a go. All right, okay, Mike, back science. to you for science. All right, uh, I'm going to go with another food that uh, you can eat a, a whole bunch of it and Th just trying to think through a buffet. It can sit there for a while. It's under, like you said, it's under the heat lamp. So it's just, it's been there for a while, but it's still going to be good. Some good old fashioned. I'm going to be some fried chicken. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 It's hearty. It's crunchy. It's probably filled with so tons that's like and tons the chicken, of chemicals. More like chicken tenders then, right? No. No, um, he's no actual. About... Like, oh, just fried chicken. Yeah. Like, okay. give me, a, give me a, a, a leg. A fried chicken leg, like, like KFC style. I can almost hear it kind of yeah, like it's a real... making sounds with its fried breading. <laughs> In your stomach. Yes, <laughs> that as well. Yeah. All right. Talk about redlining. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I think I prefer the strips at the buffet to the, to the, to the bone in. I just don't trust them. I, you don't wait. I'm in the same boat. That's why I was kind of trying trust, to. I don't trust buffet places to do fried chicken and not kill me somehow. But like interesting, it feels but, more self-contained because you know they brought in the strips. Yeah, the strips are the strips just, are from the freezer. Yeah, exactly. There's Safe. a lot of varieties that you can buffet. You could buffet wings. You could buffet nuggets. Yeah, you could buffet can. strips. You could buffet just, fried chicken. So you you want to go pay fifty plus dollars for food, and you're like, hey, get it out of the freezer and prepare that for me. Do you know how much of that I can eat? Yeah, I do. I do. I want to dip it in okay. that delicious ranch you talked about earlier. All right, two picks, Jason. All right, two picks. My first pick is mashed potatoes because when I am at a buffet okay. Okay. and I'm loading up mm. all these different things, mashed potatoes. There's a wide range of outcomes. Mm. It, it, it is, but mashed potatoes double as a dip. I can dip <laughs> everything in mashed potatoes. I You're mean, not wrong. <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's one of those things where I'll go to a fancy steakhouse and, you know, you don't ask for steak sauce that's faux pas which is uh, i know it's dumb get out of here with your snootiness if i want to if someone wants to put ketchup with their steak that's fine well that's let not, it happen that's not fine but um yes it is just your just, steak sauce is just fancy ketchup or order bordelaise sauce and and you'll thank me but if you get mashed potatoes like i feel like i can dip it the steak in the mashed potatoes, oh, man, yeah. that's one of my all-time favorites. Only criticism on the mashed potatoes, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm ready I'm for it. When I'm thinking about a buffet, I love to not think another person's been there before me. The, the mashed potato tray has a bunch of evidence that somebody else has been scooping in this tray, and I know it should be safe, but you grab a piece of chicken, no one knows that someone was there before you. That... And what do you do? Like, do you, are you down for the mashed potato tray that's like three quarters done and you're grabbing the edges? Well, I think that's... Or do you wait for the next tray? I think it's to be... The, I think it's the same as all of them. It, is there one is little piece... They're all gross. Is there one little piece of fried chicken left in that tin? Well, you got there last. The runt of the litter. Grab it. <laughs> um, same <laughs> okay. on the mashed potatoes. So I'm, I'm fine with all stages of mashed potatoes. And then the last one I'm going with, this might surprise you fellas. Uh, and it might be exactly what you think. I don't know. Um, because I don't, Either know one. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but this is the truest Jason Moore pick because um, if I go to a buffet, they usually have this. And it's something that I don't get anywhere else in, in life. I've never seen it on another menu like ever. But every buffet has it, at least Golden Corral's. <laughs> and I... The pinnacle of buffets. Thank you. Um, and I will... Eat more than I should, get more than I should, get seconds, is it, and do some damage. Is it bread pudding? It's very similar. It is the banana cream pudding with wafers, okay. like the whole dessert banana cream I knew it was something pie. in that vein. Wait, yeah. Oh! So the pudding bar. The pu <laughs> Yes, the pudding <laughs> bar. Um, okay. Oh, I thought, sweet I, mercy. I thought banana pudding was my first guess, but I was like, I don't know if they have that as often as bread pudding. 
Either one will do for Mr. Mm, Moore. Yeah. Also, if, for all the comments about me calling it a tub, their restaurant's called the Golden Corral. <laughs> so let's just call it what it is, yeah. all right? They do it. Yeah. Uh, it might as well be tub of food. All right, Mike, your final pick. Let's all see right. if I played the game right. I'm sure you did. The the because the final pick uh, pick uh, is simple for me, uh, because I can just you know it doesn't matter how much of this I take, I can just slap it on the plate. I'm going with macaroni and cheese. All right, that's your, a good pick. Your pick yeah, is safe, but but, but mac good. and cheese also no, doubles as a dip. It was, also, it was up at the tippy top of my list. It also doubles as, as a dip, and there are there the, the range of outcomes for mac and cheese. That's part of it. There can be it can be too smushy like. There are some mac and cheeses that are way, way better than what, others. What makes it a bad mac and cheese? When the for me, not enough. No noodles are way too soft when they're just oh, mushy. That can happen. I need I need some texture. Structure. Or, you need some yeah, structure. Yeah, yeah. Or it can be too bad if it's too thick. Too thick. Yes. Yeah. Where well, you're like, oh, that's Velveeta. Well, I'm very happy because my final pick. I want it to be something that's not normal for me to have too much of. Does that I, make sense? I hear you loud. They're socially clear. like if I go to a bakery and I say I want seven pastries. Right. They might look at me. If I sit there and eat them in the restaurant, I'm I'm a bad guy. Mm -hmm. You you're getting shamed. But if I'm at a buffet, I can get as many cheese danishes and pastries as mm -hmm. I want. I'm going okay. with pastries. Okay. There's a stack okay. of them. Every time I go back for more of my main foods. Oh, you always add a pastry. Add a pastry. <laughs> That's exactly right. I do that every time. You, you should always have a pastry. You just throw one on the side. It's like a dinner roll, except yeah. dinner rolls aren't as good as pastries. So do you make a comment every time like you didn't know they were there? I always say, yeah. oh, oh, you have pastries. pastries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cheese danishes. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And that, the whole dynamics, and that'll wrap it up, by the way. I'll read the teams back. Uh, the teams. <laughs> Our starting Jason forward. Has bacon, meat carving station, mashed potatoes, and banana cream pudding with Nilla wafers. Mike has the omelet bar, the salad bar, the fried chicken, and the mac and cheese. Very nice. And I have ice cream, sundae bar, pizza, pancakes, and pastries. Ooh, the three P's. All the P's. But the whole dynamic of a buffet is always very – it's a little different because you're, you're always doing the new plate thing too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if they're not quick enough coming and taking the other plates away, you could have a lot of plates on the table – some real problems can happen. It's just a, a different dynamic. It um, feels a little... I do feel like we did a massive disservice, and I totally understand why. To buffets? No, 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 no. Oh. They do a disservice to us. Yeah, <laughs> the, the shame meter in a buffet is always at least 20% higher. To Chinese food buffets. Oh, you are correct. I mean, Chinese food buffets might be the pinnacle might be their of own draft. buffets. Yeah. And I, you know, it's like, I, oh, I love man. everything there. Yeah. But if you just say, like... Orange chicken. It just doesn't feel as good on this draft. Mongolian beef. But if I can get orange chicken and Mongolian beef and some chow mein and some egg hot stickers and, and egg rolls. Yeah. And, I mean, Chinese food buffets. I just had to give you a shout out. Yeah. Those are those are great places. The only real things I had left on my list as core potential picks. Sliders, if they have them, that's rare. Mm -hmm. Rolls. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But you got pastries. The poor man's pastry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, the waffles was going to be I, on there. I was going to go with waffles, but you took pancakes. And yeah. You just didn't want to get in that one. What, what a good man. I had crab legs for your fancy buffets. Oh, yeah. French toast, the better pancake, mm. uh, meatballs, and fried shrimp. Okay. Fried shrimp. Well, yeah, because it's a buffet. you got to fry it to know it's safe. <laughs> That's fair. <Yeah. laughs> Any uh, final contenders, Mike? Uh, those, uh, uh, the, the cinnamon apples. Oh yeah, like okay. th there's not very many places. The where dessert, you can, the, yeah, the pan dessert. Yeah, there's not a lot of them out there. Okay, but always the buffet. What did we learn today? I learned that f people being fat is just science. <laughs> that was that was my takeaway: is that the scientific journal was fat shaming people. Yeah. I genuinely learned that you can accidentally go up into the atmosphere <laughs> in a hydrogen <laughs> balloon and not die within two days. What? It's wait he was so he was doing something with a tree. Yeah, he was working. He was um, getting acorn nuts. How so he tall was using is an acorn tree? He was tree. using it to Very get up tall. to the tree. Yeah, and is it wait? Is it an acorn tree or do they grow on a different tree? I don't know this. Is it a pine tree? I it, think acorns grow on pine trees. I thought those were pine cones. Who knows, Mike? <laughs> a mystery for next time. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> Thank you for following the show, subscribing. Not we appreciate a you. 
Jointhespit.com is our community. Check it out. See you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com. Oak tree. Thank you.